Hi everyone, it's Sabrina Jean, and just as I promised, I am back with another pick a card reading. Let's take a look into your immediate future. But first, I have a question for you because I can't decide whether I like how these talisman oracles are showing up without light or do they look better when the light is on? Let me jump up and turn on the light. And you please tell me which looks better. So now the light is on. I actually think more colors come out with the light on, don't they? Okay, I'm going to leave the lights on. So what about your immediate future? Okay, choose your cover card, your image, your crystal, your time stamp, and let's dive into it. Pile number one. Hello, pile one. So if you're drawn to this tiger, the leadership, or the yellow calcite. So what do we need to know about your immediate future? What or who is coming in? What's going on? Maybe you are meant to be becoming the leader of something. Yeah, that's my, <laughs> that's my light. All right. Hmm. Okay, so that's the cover card, leadership, your immediate future. We're going to start with the Tarot Illuminati, which are these guys. Ace of Swords. The Alchemist. Someone's been thinking a lot. Lovers. Uh-oh, I need more room. The Empress. And the world. Wow. Here, let's go like this. There is. So clarity, truth, you making a decision or about somebody else. I'm going to just put this here. Oh, dang. Okay. I had more cards. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have... Okay. Wow, I'm off to a really great start, aren't I? Here, let me... <laughs> let me pause the video really quick. Okay, how's that? I think that angle is better. You've got a lot going on. In fact, all of the piles have a lot going on. They have the same amount of cards. So your immediate future, I feel like something that you've been working towards is about to manifest. So something that you love. For those of you who are trying to manifest a new love, or this could be freedom, the completion of something, a renewal, but... Something is manifesting based on your thoughts and your intentions. Let's look at your other cards. So the Zeno Shotero, the source, which is the sun, the world card. You've got two world cards here and possibilities. I might need to pull an oracle card. However, pile one... What is in your immediate future are new potentials, new opportunities, possibilities to choose from. In order to create like new stability or freedom or independence for yourself, uh, your life, your family as well. And so if you believe that you can change your life or your reality, then this is a confirmation. Now let's look a little bit closer at the cards because what I first want to point out is the difference between these two decks, the world. The world in the tarot usually represents the, the finish line or the ending, the completion of a cycle. 
And so the completion or the ending of something before something new begins or something is about to renew itself, whether this is love or your career or something else. However, the difference between these two decks is that this one is the number um, 21 in the traditional tarot deck. And 21 adds up to the number three, of course, which is creative, expressive. Now, in the Zen Osho tarot, it's 10. And this also represents a physical manifestation of something that you've been focusing on, something that you've been thinking about. So in the least, I hope I can confirm something you've been working towards is about to manifest in your immediate future. And again, this can show up in a variety of ways. It really depends on what you've been focusing on the most. But to me, since you've got two aces here, the ace of swords, the ace of cups, but I would also see Saurus, the sun, God, the universe, as an ace as well, and possibility. So I feel like maybe if any of you have been feeling stuck or limited in your life in whatever way, you are about to be freed from these limitations, from these restrictions, from these blockages or a situation that you've been having to move through or work through. So some of you have been doing some work on yourselves. In fact, some of you might be writers or creators as well, and you have created something which is about to manifest, well, something magnificent for you in your future. Whether this is a book, or you have a blog, or it has something to do with your own self-expression and creativity, whatever that means for you. But the sun is going to be attracting more of everything that you seek and more of everything and every one that you love, including more possibilities and opportunities for you to choose to pursue your immediate future. So I feel like life is opening up to you very soon, and you're probably going to have multiple options to choose from. And that's how I'm interpreting your immediate future, pile one. Keep in mind the yellow resonates with your solar plexus, which is your stomach, your gut, your confidence, your willpower, your self-esteem, and I think you're already in alignment with, well, let me just put it this way. I think that you know what it is that you want, and the universe is about to start sending that to you in a variety of ways. So you're going to be faced with the option to choose. But these are all feel-good energies here, so... Amazing things in your immediate future, pile number one. This is your quick pick a card reading that I have for today. I hope this inspires you. Uh, it, it helps you remain excited about your future potentials. Law of attraction does work. It just really depends on what you choose to focus on the most. So some of you might be about to realize or witness the manifestation of your wishes and your dreams come true. And it's all because of you and the energy that you've put into that wish or that dream. Have a wonderful day, Pile One. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do click the like button. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel as well. I do offer private readings. If you like one, feel free to reach out. All of my links for everything that I offer are down below this video. In the meantime, I will be back again probably tomorrow with another Pick a Card reading. In the meantime, I did already release two other videos on my channel this morning. So if you haven't watched those or listened to those yet, you might want to go and check those out too. There might be something there for you to benefit from. Thank you again, and I'll see you in another video.
Pile two. Okay, for those of you who are attracted to this talisman oracle, magical power. Trying not to get the glare or my face in the card. <laughs> Let's just put this back down. There's too much glare. Um, if you were drawn to this crystal, this is a Super 7. I don't really know if I can get, there it goes, the light to do it justice. So it's similar to um, the Oralite, but the Oralite has like 27, 29 different minerals and elements in it. This one is a Super 7. It's uh, more dense with these specific energies. Anyway, here, I better put this right here. Pile 2, your immediate future. What do you need to know? So you've got, looks like a dragon blood. I'm going to put the Super 7 right there. This has, I don't remember all of them, but this has amethyst, it has hematite, it has, um, yeah, I don't remember. It's got like seven pretty intense energies amplified. So, okay, I lost my train of thought. Pile two, <laughs> your immediate future. What's in your immediate future? Success. You've got the chariot. The high priestess. Moving forward. Um, hmm. Higher learning, you also have the Ace of Pentacles. Opportunity. Uh, increase in income, increase self-esteem, self-confidence to, I don't know, there's something like clairvoyant here or something about your life purpose or clairvoyancy is your intuition. Magical power, okay. Are your magical powers activating? Oh, okay. The hermit. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Ace of Wands. So this is movement, inspiration, physical energy, vitality, taking action. That's what I see. Taking action, independence, liberation, confidence, moving forward, success. So there might be a, a vision or an intuitive inspiration, something that you are desiring to create. So it's almost like magic happening. You've got two aces here. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Taking action, receiving inspiration. Now this could be from, oh, DNA, like downloads, activations from the solar flares. Okay. It has something to do with the evolution of your soul and your purpose. Maybe you've already been working on yourself. Something in your immediate future is going to ignite you with some sort of magical power, which everything is energy. Inspire you to take action, okay, which is going to help you move forward towards success along your path, your creative idea, or, or something else. Maybe you're just a student, right? Maybe you're just a student of life, and something is about to show up for you. Um, for you to take advantage of. So let's look at the um, the Zenosotero and see. So your third eye, maybe your third eye is activating, sharing, right? Sharing your gifts, sharing your insights, receptivity. Wow. So I would have to say your psychic faculties, your intuition. A particular clairvoyancy, even with this receptivity, you might be in the process of, your body might be in the process of opening up to its mediumship. Um, this is like a level up. That's how I interpret your pile. You're leveling up, activating your spiritual gifts, your intuition. 
healing capacities. I'm going to put this over here. Because for some reason at this time in your life, like you might be experiencing a lot of physical changes in your health. How have you been feeling lately? Have you been feeling weird? Oh, is your vision off? Have you been having dizzy spells? Are you experiencing inflammation in your muscles or nervous tension in your shoulders, your neck, and above? Oh my God. So this is what I would refer to as waking up. Now what you're waking up to might be completely different for each one of you, but this is an intuitive gift. Um, it's something that should come natural to you. Uh, I guess I should consider this an awakening of your heart chakra because I'm thinking that's what this card is in the Zeno Sotero. Although I don't memorize the definitions of all the cards of all of the decks because, you know, everyone's got their own definition or interpretation or belief. And I believe that what's most important is that we all individually believe what feels right for us. Not everyone has to believe in the same thing. Not everybody works in the same way, especially intuition and your natural gifts, your clairvoyancy. So something in your perception is changing. It's waking up. It's becoming activated. I would... <laughs> I'm glad the Super 7 is here because I was thinking, oh my gosh, I need to ground myself now just talking about this. And this is a perfect grounding crystal. It has enough amethyst in it that it will help to transmute like lower vibrational energies, but it will also help to ground your energy with like a dense energy. But what's kind of weird here is like I feel like your crown chakra is also opening up. Your heart is opening up. Your solar plexus is activating. And your creative chakra is... Um, what's the word? It's becoming active. So I would think all sorts of crazy things are happening in your physical body. These are what they call spiritual symptoms. So if you've been experiencing anything strange or woo-woo, then I just described to you what you are experiencing. So the evolution of your soul is in process of activating and waking up at this time in your immediate future. I would think that <clears throat> not necessarily clarity of mind, because there aren't any swords here, but this is energy, emotion, and inspiration. Something activating from deep within you. It's waking up. Your gifts are waking up. That's, that's how I'm interpreting this. But it also when you follow your inspiration and your intuition and you listen to your body, because your body is trying to tell you something as well, then you can tune into your magical senses um, and, well, take flight, but with your purpose, your spiritual purpose, uh, your true purpose. So what is your true purpose? Your purpose is to make choices, to choose, to act upon your inspiration and share from the heart in whatever way feels right for you. You have a magical energy and an essence that other people absorb and pick up on. So in a weird sort of way, I would call you a bringer of light. And you might be a messenger of some sort too. I almost, oh, what I heard was a messenger of the gods. I'm like, oh, really? Like, I don't know if I should go that far as to say that, but um, there are definitely spiritual 
universal messages that are trying to speak through you, your body, your vessel, your emotions, and also through your personal expression. Wow. So pile number two, this is what I see in your immediate future. Let me know what you think. Have you been asking for your gifts to open up? Have you been trying to connect with your spirit guides? Guess what? It's working. Have you been working on energy healing? That's working too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do click the like button. And thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel, especially if you haven't subscribed already. I appreciate all of your support. You might want to check out the other two videos and the audio that I released earlier today. One of them was talking about attuning to your spiritual gifts. Uh, the other one was more of like a confirmation, so there might be more there for you as well. Um, but this is what I'm getting for you, generally speaking, pile number two, your immediate future. I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to comment below if there's anything that you would like to add or say. In the meantime, have a wonderful day, and I will see you all again in another video. Bye for now. Pile three, for those of you who chose the green calcite crystal, or perhaps you chose this card, concealment. So something about shadows or something that is waiting to reveal itself to you or something. Pile three, your immediate future. Wait, we need to bring this down here. Okay, what do you need to know? This is another quick pick a card reading. The star. The Hierophant. Justice. Wow, timing, or sorry, the wheel. <laughs> I always see this as timing. I need to put that right there. Strength. Death. Wow. Okay. So pile three. Something which has been hidden from you is about to be revealed. So either from your intuition, something from your spirit guides or a person or a situation or something that you haven't been aware of. This could be clarity or truth. Um, which has been hidden from you is about to reveal the truth to you. Now, I'm not seeing any negative cards here. I mean, look at all of the court cards that you have, <laughs> right? You've got the star, the hierophant, justice, the wheel, strength, death. It's almost like, to me, an end of a cycle of negativity and the beginning of something new, something better. But at the same time, you're being divinely guided. And there's also something new that's coming in for you. So something is ending, but something new is coming in to replace that. And honestly, yeah, it's like, wow. Let's look at the Zeno Sotero cards. Okay, so your spirit guides are urging you to go within, to meditate, to connect with them, your higher self. Wow, harmony. Well, I already picked up on the fact that you're being guided towards something. Okay, and then you've got the thunderbolt. So this is something sudden and unexpected. Well... But to me, I would see this as sudden and unexpected peace and harmony. Peace of mind. For those of you, okay, how many of you have been trying to connect with your spirit guides or the angels or align, connect with another dimension? 
Yep. Those were not for you, by the way. <laughs> I heard the sirens too. So, something you've been waiting for, justice is served. Uh, a sense of timing, strength, connection, having everything that you need. So this might have something to do with the resolution of a health problem, a mental anxiety. I feel like you're being released from something that's been dragging you down, draining your energy or affecting your health and your well-being. And there's going to be an ending to whether that's a negative emotion or something from the past, or perhaps it's a karma that you are clearing out and releasing. Whatever it is specifically for each one of you in pile number three, it's almost like a, a new beginning, a clear slate is being created for you to step into for your future. Of course, it's up to you to choose to step into that direction. But if you're longing for peace, harmony, if you're longing to heal your life, your body, or your emotions, that's what I'm picking up on here. There's something much bigger and greater that's going on in your life. And of course, I'm not able to tap into that specifically just using tarot cards, but it has something to do with your astrology. So if you are following your astrology, if you're learning how to understand your transits or even learning how to understand yourself and your gifts, then you might want to check your recent transits to see <clears throat> what's going on. Pluto probably has, holds a big significance. I think what's happening is that whatever has been preventing you from peace and harmony is being lifted, it's being healed, it's being released. And then more blessings and good fortune are going to start coming into your life. So greater health and well-being. But at the same time, I think this is calling you to connect with your higher self, your spirit guides, the angels, or you know any other kind of higher consciousness. Because honestly, the only way to rise above any situation or to be released from any situations that have been keeping you stuck is to connect with a higher vibration, which is beyond yourself, beyond your physical senses, beyond your awareness. And well, this is one of the reasons why I love crystals so much because crystals hold a unique frequency that, well, they make me feel pretty darn good. But I think something is lifting you out of the shadow, whatever that shadow is. Uh, and it's an end of a huge long term cycle and something much better is on the other side of that. And this is something happening in your immediate future. Oh, dang. So we've got eclipses next month, don't we? In September. Okay. That might be resonating with that as well. So check to see where the eclipses are going to be happening in your astrology chart. Anyway, something peaceful is also manifesting for you. We've got the number 10 here. Stability with the number four. Changes, but also, I don't know, this is sort of like a spiritual protection. You are being protected, but you're also being guided. So it's important for you to tune into your healing guides every day uh, to make sure that you are, you know, taking the necessary steps and precautions uh, for your health and well-being your stability and your future, because I think that they are guiding you through this as well. Maybe they've always been there, but maybe you've just never really tuned into them or channeled this connection with your spiritual team. Anyway, pile three. So this is what I'm picking up for you in your immediate future. I hope you enjoy this. I'm, yeah, I was just thinking it's like there's a cosmic connection here as well. So whoever the blues are, there's a lot of blue, and so you might resonate with 
the blue light people. I've been hearing a lot about that recently on the internet, but I've never looked into them. I don't necessarily know who they are, but I guess it's a new level of consciousness that is showing up. But to me, when I see blue and green, I connect with the Pleiadians. Um, but there's definitely blue. Blue is your color, pile number three. Something is communicating with you. So this is what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do click the like button. And thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel as well. I do offer private readings. If you would like one, reach out to me at any of my links below. And have a wonderful day. And I will be back again soon with another Pick a Card reading. Bye for now. Hey there, pile number four. For those of you who are drawn to this image, wisdom, the eye, <laughs> the third eye, the octopus, there's a crescent moon, there's some triangles here. Okay, so this is a message about your immediate future. If you were drawn to the Herkimer diamond, then here is your crystal, which also it resonates with your crown chakra and higher. But what, what do you need to know about your immediate future? What's going on? Let's put this over here. I'm going to put your, your octopus here. Let me put that right there. Pile four. Starting with the Tarot Illuminati deck. The moon. Okay, wow. So is there some sort of secret wisdom about to be revealed to you through intuition perhaps put that there the sun always a good sign temperance the rainbow bridge wow the fool the hanged man seriously <laughs> the tower <laughs> pile four wow However, there is significance of the number eight. So whatever eight represents for you. And I'm only saying that because of the octopus here and it's eight arms and this wisdom, this is wisdom being revealed to you through your higher consciousness or through the angels, through the rainbow bridge, your intuition. Um, wisdom that you need to embrace your future, which is very specific. Or maybe your perceptions are changing, which is why the hangman is here. So it's almost like a veil being lifted or released. Maybe something that's been blocking your view, your vision, your truth. Wow, so there's like new beginnings, new beginnings, sudden, unexpected, new beginnings in your immediate future, but this new beginning is also bringing you new levels of wisdom. Ooh, is this like ancient truths? Something about your ancestors? Hmm, let's look at your tarot, sorry. We already did the Tarot Illuminati. Zeno Shotero. Oh, look, you've got another eight. Letting go. Projections. Something is definitely... You are attracting what you need. Okay. This card says healing. Okay, so maybe you are attracting the healing that you need. Let go of your need to control. But whenever I see this card, I, I think of you coming into alignment. Like with your chakras, aligning with your higher self. Aligning with your, your purpose. Your heart chakra is activating, but something... I feel like something is letting go of you. 
It could be negativity that has been like in the way of you manifesting, healing. But see, so you've also got something that's been over your third eye. And something that's been over your stomach. So it's like, have you been experiencing headaches lately or nausea or dizziness? Has your stomach been acting weird? Is your digestion off? So the chakras in your body are energy vortices. Is that the best way to describe it? So there's always energy. There is divine knowledge and energy and wisdom that come into your physical being through your chakras. I feel like suddenly, unexpectedly, the veil is going to be lifted or a burden, something that's been blocking your third eye and something that's been bothering your stomach area is about to be lifted. Your heart is already open, but there are other things that you haven't been able to perceive. Oh, and that's because it's been blocked. So maybe some of you have been working on your energy or working on your chakras. Learning how to manage them, to balance them. So the temperance card refers to you being able to manage all of your resources, your mental faculties, your spiritual, your emotional, to find a happy balance. In a sense, the temperance card could be closely uh, resonated with the alchemist or the magician. Because the temperance card knows what it needs to do as well as the alchemist and the magician. But something has been hidden from you. And so, okay, maybe it's ancient wisdom. It could be ancestral or just something from your Merkaba, your Akashic records or something like that. I feel like something is about to be revealed to you um, in your immediate future. But it's also maybe going to be a brand new beginning a new life, a new reality, a new perspective. Changes. Actually, if you've already been experiencing crazy changes or uncertainties or instability in your life, in your immediate future, whatever is being activated, and I just realized in pile three that we have eclipses next month, so it might be resonating with next month's eclipses. But this is coming in for you, this wisdom that you need to stay strong and supported and balanced and stable um, while these other changes are happening. So if you feel uncertain or afraid about your future at the moment, all right, sorry, I paused the video because there were sirens going by. That's happening a lot today. <laughs> But whatever is happening in your immediate future, maybe after the eclipse season, but um, like higher knowledge, ancient wisdom is coming in for you to help anchor you, to ground you, to help you heal, to come into alignment um, with this next phase of your life. Maybe this is a new gift or a new purpose, a new career, a new something. Um, but it has a lighter vibration. The sun is here lighting your way and the moon is here bringing you emotional stability and intuitive guidance while you work through, I don't know, are these your sensory perceptions? But I also think that this wisdom that's coming in for you is going to help you to fine tune Um, how do I even describe this? What you need, what you want to bring into your life, what or who you want to attract. Um, this is you in the know, like in deep knowing, perceiving. Wow, so it could be like your third eye 
as well, which is why you've got the eye here, is opening up. And when I was just thinking of that, I was thinking, okay, some people carrying around, some people carry around that evil eye, or they're like symbols that protect you. Like evil eye is a protection. I'm not saying that you need to do that, but wow, I feel whatever is coming in is big. It's going to require you to let go of your past. Let go of what you thought that you knew. Um, and there's like heightened awareness of your feelings, your body, and your emotions here. This isn't logical. It's a little spiritual, but I think um, your gift of empathy, mediumship, the, the ability to tune into other people's emotions or other things are what are expanding for you, everyone who chose Pile 4. But you can always stay grounded, especially when you connect with the 8, which is infinity. The 8 represents your ability to connect with higher consciousness. So you can rise above and you can connect with higher consciousness and stay supported up into the 5D while you are still navigating your 3D body. In fact, I would go as far as to say that it's possible that your 3D body is becoming more multidimensional. So you might be experiencing, well, again, some strange and unusual physical symptoms right now. But there are also ways that you can like balance these things and ground them and manage them to in the process, no matter no matter how this is showing up for you. And this might be something that's already happening. So pile four. Let me know what you think. Have you been experiencing anything strange or unusual? I need to add that you some of you might also be experiencing a Kundalini a Kundalini activation or awakening. And the only reason why I say this is because a long time ago when I did, I was playing around with, I was meditating with my Herkimers. I had more at the time. And I had these huge slabs of white selenite. Yeah. And I had the most amazing energetic experience, which I ended up determining was it had to be a Kundalini because it felt like lightning going all throughout my spine. It was cool. It was interesting. <laughs> it was weird because at the time, I literally, right before I felt that surge, I felt shoulders, shoulders, I felt hands come down onto my shoulders from behind. And there's no one in the room with me. So it's like my angels were grounding me and supporting me while that, pfft, anyway. I think something cool is about to happen for you, pile number four. If you'd like to talk about this, feel free to reach out and request a private reading or phone consult with me. I'd be more than happy to discuss any sort of woo-woo that you've been experiencing. But in the least, this is the video that I've got for you, your messages about your immediate future, what you could expect. These are all positive, but I feel I feel like your life might be shifting into a different octave or a perspective um, or in a really big way. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do click the like button is what I'm really trying to say. <laughs> and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And yeah, I will see you all again in another video. Have a blessed day or evening wherever you are on the planet. And I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.